I'm Megan. Carpet may make a room feel cozy, but it can also aggravate your allergies. The problem with carpet is that it collects everything. Several leading causes of allergies, like dust mites, mold spores, pet dander, and pollen, easily become embedded in carpet fibers. Dust mites in particular are a challenge. These microscopic bugs actually live and multiply in carpet. And when they and other indoor allergens get stirred up into the air, they may <coughs> cause sneezing, runny or stuffy nose, and itchy, watery eyes in people sensitive to those allergy triggers. If you get new carpet, the level of common indoor allergens is initially very low, but it often presents another problem for people with allergies. New carpet contains chemicals called volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, that are emitted into the air as gases. While VOCs are not allergens, they can aggravate pre-existing allergies, which means new carpet may cause a temporary increase in your allergy symptoms. So if you decide to get new carpet, take a few precautions to help avoid an allergy flare-up. Choose a low VOC product. Ventilate the area well and stay out of the room until the chemical odor fades, which usually takes a few days. If you have indoor allergies, replacing carpet with another type of floor covering, especially in the bedroom, may be one of the best ways to reduce allergens in your home. If you already have carpet or plan to install new carpet, you can help minimize allergens by choosing low pile carpet, vacuuming at least once a week, and shampooing at least twice every year. Taking steps to reduce the allergen load in your carpet can go a long way in helping you manage allergy symptoms.